welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. This is an early advanced look at their upcoming TMNT2 The Secret of the Use 2 pack, featuring Kino in his foot training gear, along with a foot soldier who is entirely too fat and out of shape, right? Very cool packaging, of course, nice photography of each of the figures all over the box, shows you all the accessories, shows you the articulation, shows you Kino, along with him training with the foot soldier. Here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode for when these start to hit store shelves. Now, I don't have too many details as of yet. I was told by NECA Toys, wait for their official announcement, and they will be giving you more information on how you can obtain yours. So, in the meantime, though, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new TMNT2, The Secret of the Use, Kino in his foot training gear, along with big old fat foot soldier by NECA Toys. And while I got all you Halloweenies here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee I'm going to scare the heck out of you right now. So if you're still alive after that, here's everything out of the packaging. You got two figures, you got a big old punching bag, and you got plenty of accessories to bring these characters to life. And that's really what makes these things pop, right? So with the foot soldier, you got plenty of extra hands. You got punching hands and foot holding hands, and you get the idea. Nicely painted along with two... Escrima sticks, right? These are Batlin sticks. You can pummel your enemies with two sticks. You got the TGRI canister, not TCRI. I know some of you out there will comment that below. And the foot soldier is pretty darn cool, right? Now, it's going to be the basic foot soldier that we know and love. But man, he's been sitting on the couch and eating some snacks, right? But you get all the detail, you get all the paint. It's very much the secret of the ooze. Foot soldier complete with guts. And I like to see that. It differentiates between your foot troops, right? But you get the same exact articulation. The head will rock to and fro, and I like the new head portrait. The only hang-up that I'm going to say is that you're going to have to, one, go slow, and two, possibly and probably heat this guy up. The legs and the arms, not so much the elbows, not so much the wrists, we're incredibly stuck, so go very easy when you get yours. Not much of a waste, nothing in the ab crunch. Again, the legs go very easy. A lot of people, and I think that they're not so used to NECA toys sometimes when they first get them, you shouldn't just yank the limbs, right? That's not a good way to do it. You gotta go slow. The knees, right? Those two go easy on them. You always want to go slow with these new, more modern, advanced figures, just FYI. But for me, I always say, stand them and forget them, because they always just look so good standing there. But I think a lot of people out there are really looking for a lot of articulation, which I totally understand. So keep that in mind when you start posing things out. Go easy and go slow. Now, with Kino's end of things, you get all the bells. And if you didn't tell me what this was, it would have taken me... A second ago, oh, okay, that's the scene where Raphael helps Kino out, grabs all the bells off the dummy foot soldier. You get the idea, right? And then you get a pair of hands, which again, Kino can hold those sticks. You get an extra head portrait of Ernie Reyes Jr. as Kino. Nicely painted, nicely rendered. So technically, yeah, if you missed the SDCC version with the scooter, this is at least a Kino in your collection, along with this punching bag, which I really appreciate. It's heavy, and it's really well done. It's got all the different wear and tear to it. Nice shade, nice paint. Love the chains, right? It says Teasus right there. But then you get the stand, right? So the stand is going to support the bag, and you simply just take the chains, and you slip it around the little chain hole right there, and it gets it freestanding. And that's a really great accessory. That's nice to have, which can apply to other action figure lines as well. Kino, now, like I said, is going to be in a radically different costume from his scooter driving SDCC attire. And I love the feet right here that you can see on the bottom. But he is well done. And while it won't be the exact 
costume, right? The outfit that you're going to want in everybody's TMNT collection for the character of Kino. At least it is something different. But on the other side of things, it's not as exciting, right? It's one of those scenes where you go, okay, I guess you can make an action figure out of that. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more Kino action figures. But I do like that they included the punching gloves. I think that that's really cool to see. They're two pieces, so when you want to swap them out, don't lose both the pieces. You got nice rock out of it. He doesn't have anything at the bicep, but this is one of those figures out of the box where I really didn't have to heat anything up, and that's nice to see. But he does have a little bit of an ab crunch. He's got the waist, single joints on the elbows, kind of sort of double jointed on the knees, but at least he kicks out. But that's the extent of the knees right there. You got the feet, you got the rock. You can give him the old one too. And again, it's really where the accessories bring these characters to life. I can't honestly tell you that I wanted this version of Kino on my shelf, but that's where NECA Toys really thrives is in bringing these movie moments to life and all the accessories all the attention to detail really helps them to achieve that so again no this is not the most exciting box set but it is a set that can go with your collection or if you want to pass as well that's totally cool but it really helps in differentiating the foot soldier clan as well and if you were wondering if you wanted to see the differences between the first SCCC release and now this training gear kino but yes the outfits are vastly different of course and then you have the foot soldiers which are roughly the same height the new one gives you a little bit more of a burly heavy mega kind of foot soldier vibe right even though he's a little bit more out of shape and a fat foot soldier but i appreciate that i just wish that the foot soldier came with a few more weapons that would have been cool to see now with Raphael, the turtles in general whether you got the punching bag or this new Kino, yes, they will line up very well in terms of scale. And again, you can use this punching bag for the turtles if you really wanted to. But that's where, again, the foot soldiers, you get a little bit of variance. You got a little bit of variance now with Kino. You can really bring all these movie moments to life. So for that alone, that's where this box set really achieves something special. And again, do you absolutely need this set for your collection? Well, I leaves it for you to decide. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new TMNT2, the Secret of the Use box set featuring Kino in his training gear and the big old fatty foot soldier. And again, thank you to NECA Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. Again, wait for their official announcement. They'll tell you how you can exactly grab this set and look for it to be posted on my social pages as well. But again, I want to say thank you very much for watching my vid. Have a very happy Halloween in case I don't talk with you. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when it comes to the movie line of TMNT, the sky is apparently the limits. If you go through each of the movies, I'm sure you can pull out a whole bunch more action figures. So when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.